Hello, welcome to another film effects tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to create Fierce School, how to create animations and how to create a system where a shark is going to attack the fish school. So, first start we're going to create the Nodeworks anywhere in the scene and as you can see we have the fish animated here for 150 frames. Now let's open up the node editor and create this fish group give it color and use a simple generator node to gen generate particles and for start I'm just going to create one particle and it's going to be created only in the first frame and for start we'll just move it into the X direction okay now I'll just remove the velocity here so we can assign the shape particle shape and so pick this fish here we can hide the original one enable shape animation and let's add the swim animation that goes for 150 frames I'm going to increase the speed to 5 so we can have the more realistic behavior using the shape animation node to play the swim animation now we can see that it swims but we need to adjust this pivot point so it's somewhere at the center of gravity for this fish which is located somewhere behind the head on the body so moving along the y-axis and it's very important to set up this pivot point properly as fish is going to make all the turns and rotations around this point and this fish is a little bit too large for our scene so I'm going to use the size of 0 0.1 and use 10% size variation among all fishes in the school and now we can birth all 1000 fishes here and I'm going to switch to the bonding box display so we don't waste time for a mesh display while working we're going to position those particles within this box here and we're going to place them within the volume and to actually change the position use the position node now as you can see we have 1000 particles created within this box and we're also going to use inter distance of 3 so that by any chance we don't have two fishes that are overlapping as you can see we have total 998 which means only maybe two particles did overlap there is one more thing left to be done is to set the fish alignment uh, I know that this shape is going to be inverted by 180 degrees so I'm just going to type in 180 to face into the velocity direction and I'm going to switch to mesh just to show you that the fishes are now looking in the proper velocity direction let's switch back to bounding box so we don't waste display time and I'm going to create another tab to create fish swarm rename this tab to fish school you can rename to whatever you want of course now I'm going to create the get particle group node for the fish particles and connect those particles to our swarm node that's going to control all the fishes within the fish or the particles within the fish particle group uh, for more details please make sure to visit the documentation as it has the explanation for the all those three most important cohesion separation and alignment forces so 
for start we're going to define their attraction position that is going to be object info and we're going to pick this box is going to be our attraction point and now if we move the time slider you can see that only the closest particles will be attracted to it which means we need to increase this attraction range I'll set it to 200 so all the fishes in the school are going to be attracted to this position and I'll just increase this a little bit more so they're attracted a little bit more towards this point now we see that all the fishes move in a different uh, directions and we want them to be aligned just like the fish are so we'll close the repulsion for now We're not going to use it and let's say uh, physical limitation we'll control the speed later and I'll increase the maximum direction change this is the angle that each particle can change uh, in one frame. All the particles within the visual range will affect the behavior of the particle itself. So we'll increase this to 8 here. As we can see this is a grid displays 10 units so each particle will basically see 10 units radius will be its local group. The bigger the visual range the more the school will be aligned uh, perfectly one to each other, fish one to each other. So cohesion, that's the force from the uh, that moves the fish closer to its neighbors. I'm going to decrease a little bit and I'm going to decrease this separation as well to something like 2.3 and, but I'll increase the separation distance. I want those fish to be separated for units from its neighbors. Now we get a little bit better motion, but what's the most important? This will be probably good animation for something like fish uh, feeding time, but where uh, fish are gliding uh, around some reef, something like that, we'll need a little bit more alignment so they don't change direction from their uh, group direction and now you can see how they are very nice aligned and they're circling around the target that we've set one thing we can go back here and increase the particle life span so they don't disappear. Now one thing that I want to do to make it more realistic is to use the scale and I use this scale to control the the rate uh, how far how, what is the maximum velocity for the fish in the school and I'll use this something like 150 because you know the fish scale is about 0 0.1 so this will be maximum speed of 15 so if you set this to maximum speed in most cases you will see smaller particles to be lagging behind the school and that's really nice uh, variation to add Now I'll go back and here add shark and just use the generate on surface add another particle group let's call it shark and a color in red as you can see here is a shark that's animated for 55 frames and I'm going to create it into shark group generate on this little spot here 
and I use also the particle shape node to import this shark here and I just need to change the birth rate to one particle that's also going to go in the X direction I'm going to swim a little bit faster and also using 0.1 scale here we can see that something is wrong with this mesh it's tilted so that's because we used the generator surface and it has aligned to normal enabled by default so this particle is aligned to the face where it's created now I'm going to add animation and it going to name it swim just like we did for the fish and it's going from frame 0 to frame 59 now I can go and just hide the fish mesh until we set up this shark now we can just play this animation and we can see our shark is swimming along with the fish particles now we can go back to the nodeworks change display to bounding box and enable fishes as well now I want to add also the orientation for the shark as we're going to need it later so orientation along the velocity direction and this one requires rotation about 90 degrees so this fish school and now let's do something about the shark behavior so let's get the shark particle and let's assign the swarm node to the shark particle I'll increase the attraction range to 200 as well let's change the maximum speed to 40 it's faster than fish maximum acceleration I'll set this to 10 let's make this direction change to 5 degrees and let's set up the swarm behavior and now for a start if we set the object info for this target to the shark is going to be attracted to the same position as fish as you can see as it's the only shark this one behavior is basically not needed here but if you have multiple sharks then you're going to use this and now for this shark I want the shark actually to get look into the fishes and find the closest fish so we're using the neighbors operator and it's going to search into the fish group I'm going to use radius search so it searches within a certain radius around the shark to find the fish so the radius search maximum count it's important that you leave this to one as we're going to, we're going to find only one fish that is closest to the shark and the uh, search radius I'm going to increase this to 60 so even if shark goes a little bit further from the fish it's going to find the the fish and the search field of view I'm going to decrease it a bit, a bit a little bit to 270 and now if it finds the fish we're going to use a little bit switch node here and the switch node is going to have position as input so we change the pin type to flow 3 and it's going to work like that so if neighbors doesn't found any fish 
then we're going to use the object uh, position as a traction position for shark otherwise use the position of the fish as the attraction point however as it is now you'll see we cannot create connection we need to rewire this because since this node has the particle we need to drag this particle that's basically input particle it's just passed out to the output but we need to connect this particle to the swarm node so that we can use output information with the swarm node so this position as the attract position so as soon as shark finds fish it's going to be attracted towards the fish position as you can see however we, do, we want a little bit delay so at the beginning it doesn't attack the fish right away so we're going to use the frame compare and let's say let the shark hunt the fish at the frame 60 and above so if I switch the perspective view now you can see that for the first 60 frames shark is just swimming in direction and at the end it attacks the fish however fish still doesn't see the share shark so we're going to back to the fish school and here is going to be repulse position that is we're going to retrieve it with the group and cluster information and we're going to use custom group shark so the shark group center of the shark group is going to be repulsion position for our fishes here and now we can go and set up the repulsion parameters we want re strong repulsion when the shark approaches but let's say fish is going to see the shark only when it's 10 units let's say 15 units away from them repulsion fall off of 5 so that's total of 20 units so enable flip boost so the fish will get a little bit more extra top velocity and acceleration uh, when the repulsion uh, location is within this range so let's see now what happens with the shark and the fish I move to the forward view as you can see as the shark approaches to fish they are repulsed and they try to move away from the shark let's go back changes to the mesh bit more perspective view and uh, let's hit the playback now we can see that shark attacks the fish fish tries to avoid the shark but at the same time it's trying to keep the fish school formation and just now a few more things about material assignment and notebooks so I have here a multi subject material and the material D1 is fish and 2 is shark so we can set up this pretty easy if we go to the particle shape to the f for the fish and we set material ID 1 and we go to the particle shape for the shark and we just set material ID 2 and you gotta assign this uh, material here to the notebooks node and you're done with the material setup so thank you for watching I hope you like the new swarm node and see you soon with the next tutorial